Today is January 16th, 2017, and this is Maelstrom Radio. Today is January 16th, 2017, and this is Maelstrom Radio. Maelstrom Radio. With your hosts, Flatus and Shinder. Hi, everybody. This is Maelstrom Radio. I am one of your hosts. My name is Flatus. With me, as always, the man, the myth, the legend. His nickname is the Yellow Dart. It is Shin. How's it, how's it going, Shin? Uh, it's not doing, going too bad. Can't speak again today. Not going too bad. How are you? All right. It's all, it's all coming up. It's all doing coming better up. than me, it sounds like, at least. It's all coming up, Master Radio. Uh, uh, it depends <laughs> what you wanted to say is good uh if my mic decides to flare up uh it's because skype's being a jerk and it's trying to take over my mic settings uh so just to fair warn you if i get very loud it's not that i'm yelling it's because you're not supposed to touch that because it's hot fair yeah. hot mic hot mic yes thank you Lingo, lingo is what I'm getting at. Anyway, we uh we have a show. We're doing it live, as we tend to do. Here. Uh, Shin, uh, you want to go ahead and start uh taking uh the first bit of our our news, Maelstrom Radio news. Uh, sure. Uh, we got a couple things going on with Maelstrom. Uh, the first main part is we are still recruiting for our free company. Uh, if you are looking to return to the game, haven't started the game, whatever, come and check us out. We are on Famfrit, uh, which is on the Primal Data Center, which for all of you who currently have free companies and stuff out there, uh, you should see us out there in the Duty Roulettes and uh, Raid Finder and such. We will be uh, running a bunch of stuff, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see some of you out there. But yeah, we're recruiting everything and anything, uh, new player, returning player, looking for a free company. Just want to come and say hi. Uh, yeah, feel free to give us one of us a shout. Me, Shin. Uh, you can also contact Lil- Lilith, Ashblood, and Curry Kent. So if you see, it, it would probably be really good for me to mention the free company's name is Garuda Gang or GG. Yeah. So uh, you could just search for that, and you'll find one of us online, likely. Hopefully, not today, or I mean tomorrow, not today. Tomorrow for sure. We gotta get that 3.5 patch done. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's see what else we have on the news docket for us. Oh. Uh, as for for us, we uh we have a giveaway. We have two giveaways. Three giveaways. Three. It's well, three. two so far. Two and a one during the show. Technically. That's true. Yeah, so uh, two ongoing, kind of ongoing. All right, so we have what the first one uh, is our YouTube uh, giveaway, and that's just going over to YouTube and clicking the subscribe button. And uh, once we hit 100 subs on YouTube, uh, one lucky winner will get their choice of either a the Red Devil or the I don't remember the name of the other one, <laughs> White something. <laughs> One of the, uh, uh, the, I don't even remember the name of the da- freaking mount now. <laughs> Magitech mounts. Man, it's happening. I just don't remember the name of the white one. I know the red devil because that's the cool one to me. Maelstrom Radio, red, red, red. It's all red here. Uh, Shin wearing red. 
represent. Uh, so you get the choice. You get your choice of one of those two mounts, uh, and uh, that's just just for you guys. Just going to click a button. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, on your part. Uh, the next one does take a little bit of work, but you're also up for grabs for one of those two mounts of your choice. Uh, this one is we want to know in t one entry paragraphs because brevity is fantastic. Uh, make your argument. Once and for all, what do you believe the Spider-Man shirt means? Which class do you think are we getting? Is it Samurai? Is it Blue Mage? It, it, but it's got to be one of those two. <laughs> uh, no, bonus points if you can make a really good argument for photographer. Like, bonus points for me. I, I, I'm not going to be one to judge most of it, but I will be reading. You will be reading. Uh, so take a look at that, type it up, and you can email us at show at maelstromradio.com. Uh, yet again, that's email is show at maelstromradio.com, and that'll go directly to us. Um, I would say, let's see, patch is coming out soon. I'll, get, I'll give people time to do that. Let's say by February 6th, that's one, two, three, that'll be our fourth episode from now. That'll be... Let's see, we're on 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. But let's say 25th episode. Our 25th episode of Maelstrom Radio. Uh, plenty of time. We'll remind you a couple weeks as the weeks go on to write your little email. If it's only one of you, guess what? You win automatically. Uh, but I would like some people to come in and, and, and say, hey, listen, it's Blue Mage. Dummy in here is why. Or, hey, Samurai, and I got the, I got the facts on the Sams. I don't know why. So if I'm doing my math correct, that should be February 20th, correct? Yes, that is February 20th. We'll be alive, hopefully. <laughs> before the show. Yeah. So 8 p.m. February 20th. If it's not in before then, you, you had plenty of time. I'm sorry. Yeah. At that, it's it's by then, and we're, we'll actually be halfway at our halfway mark to our 50th episode, which would happen this year. That's kind of a scary thought. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> we'll be fifty we, episodes deep in in Stormblood. We might have to start cutting it back once Stormblood re Stormblood releases. Uh oh. Are you are you trying to say that we'll need more time to play Stormblood? Of course. Why not? You make a valid argument. Uh, so <laughs> that's it for our news. Uh, Shin, uh, want to go ahead and tell the people what's going on with EU Fan Fest? Yeah, there's lots of stuff going on with EU FanFest. The most important part is there are no more tickets. Uh, the FanFest in Frankfurt has officially sold out, so make sure you keep an eye on the Lodestone and uh, the other Final Fantasy websites for all future information. Uh, as well, due to the fiasco that was the Las Vegas merchandise line, uh, they have decided that ticket holders will be given exclusive access to the merchandise pre-sales before the event via email. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to see how that actually turns out, uh, but it does sound uh, like a lot of things that we were talking about at in Vegas uh, at FanFest about how they could make it a little bit better or hopefully at least not as painful as it was waiting in that line. I want that. You want the Frankfurt? I just want a book. I'm still on the waiting list. I haven't gotten my email yet. One day you will be able to get a Lorba. Oh, it hurts on the inside so deep. It's like a knife. Uh, so, you know, uh, you know what else hurts? Final Fantasy XV crossover. Wanna know what hurts? We don't got it yet. Every single time. <laughs> but. The reason being is that Yoshi P wants to do it justice. He doesn't want to just shoehorn it in. He doesn't want to yokai watch it. <laughs> he wants it, he wants substance. He wants uh kind of like the 13 event. He wants it to be something that we can sink our teeth into, maybe spend some time with it. Um so he's tasked the devs of Final Fantasy 14 to go in and uh play the game, get a sense of uh the four uh char main characters and the world they come from so that they better fit uh, at Aorzea and kind of figure out a way that somehow they get lost in their journey and come to Aorzea. So who knows? Uh, but uh, expect to see things uh, that will um, 
kind of make each character pop, so you might have to learn some recipes, and Noctis may thank you a lot, and you may have to do some battle training, and I'm just saying, like, those are some things you may have to look at. What we get, I don't know. What I want us to get, Carmel. That that I don't see coming, I'm sorry. I want Carmel. But we already know that it could fly. Carmel. It might have some problems swimming in stubborn blood. No, it's fine, it's submarine. Don't don't take it away from me. I, I'd take like warp strikes. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll take a warp. Like, can I warp strike and like across the map? <laughs> yeah. Wait, how else are you supposed to use warp strike? Listen, man. I just I just expect to fly across the map and do cool things. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do in my life. Speaking of cool things. <laughs> yeah! Speaking of a crossover that is happening. Uh, Garo starts tomorrow. Uh, I wonder why. Uh, tomorrow, uh, the Garo event is launching. And uh, Garo is a anime and also a live-action TV show in Japan. Uh, it's kind of like Super Sentai, but dark. Because instead of fighting monsters and, and space and... Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed and all that fun stuff. It's demons. <laughs> so so it's darker and cooler looking, I guess. Uh I'm excited. The armor looks dope. Uh and what I can do for you guys is not only can I talk about it. What? I'm gonna share the the Garo trailer with you guys and Shin and I are gonna talk a little bit about it. It's only two minutes long, so won't take too much time. I want this orchestral roll. So can we get that can we get that emote where I can walk and all my armor transports on my body? I just like that in general, like as we are changing between two different classes. What a ta-ta! What animations are those? That's a Probably one of the coolest things. I'm really hoping some of these uh, PvP changes we're going to talk about really help with uh, the queue times for the Garo event. Oh, for sure. Especially considering how hype. challenging it seems these mounts will be to get. It's how hype we are to get them. All that too. <laughs> So cool. I'm so excited. Like, like I went and watched, started watching Gara. <laughs> I, I hear you now. So that is the Garo, the final or cross Final Fantasy 14, uh, which excited for. And I'm gonna switch over to and stop playing. And I'll switch over to this and do one of the weird things. Just do that. Because that doesn't want to work for me. It's not a Maelstrom episode unless there's technical difficulties. It's okay. I got it. Or not. Now it... whoop Nailed it! <laughs> back and forth and forward and back and back. Uh... Sweet mirth. Uh, sometimes. Dear. Anywho. Hi. Guess what? We're talking about patch notes. Uh, so, you should see my face. You should see Shinter underneath me. Take that verbal, you know. If you're listening to this, 
you know, audio podcast. Take that as you will. <laughs> so don't don't Brady bunch me. Can't go one episode. One without mentioning the Brady bunch. Are you Alice? Are you the maid? Probably doesn't help that I'd never watched the Brady Bunch. That was before my time. Shin, how old do you think I am? <laughs> Apparently old enough to have watched the Brady Bunch. Don't listen to me. I'm only, I'm only 32. <laughs> uh let's get into it shall we uh 3.5 is probably one of the biggest patches it's also the ending patch so that's probably also why it's one of the biggest patches but i would say hype wise for for the heavensward patches that the far edge of fate so far is really the pump most pumped patch that we're getting out um 3.1 was uh lackluster even though how late as it was uh they had to do some i wouldn't say battle like damage control with the next couple patches but the amount of changes, the amount of stuff we're getting, not to say that none of the other four previous patches we didn't get a lot of content, but this one is just, let's, let's just jump into it. New main scenario quests have been added, tidying some gear of Banya. So this is going to, as a player, like like I said, he had to complete an ending to, by the way, if you haven't finished 3.4, go do that. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be behind the curveball anyway continuing uh so this is gonna be our starting quest going into uh our starting uh, really our story that's gonna lead us into uh stormblood yeah this is definitely part one of the two-part 3.5 patch uh with the second half being released in march and uh yeah there's quite a few quests that we're gonna be getting going through here yeah uh i'll i'll keep it a little spoiler free there's something i do want to touch on at the bottom take that as you will uh at spoiler or not it's just a a flavor text on an item it was big on twitter people were, were kind of speculating what was going to happen i just want to point it out it can mean nothing but uh we'll do that at the end uh the, <laughs> go ahead i also just want to say uh with 3.5 being released today slash tomorrow because servers unlocking and all that uh we will try to keep the podcast relatively spoiler free for probably about a week or two uh so make sure you get it done within those two weeks because after that i can't guarantee that uh, we won't be talking about the story yeah uh usually i try to follow the same rules as all the other podcasts uh limb break radio phoenix town radio uh, uh state of the realm all all of them uh, it's a good respect time that we usually try to give the week of the week next, the following week, and then the week after we kind of discuss story. So, uh, we'll let you know, and I'll try to do my best, uh, to put spoiler, like in parentheses in the title on Twitch. So, you know, Hey, this may be a spoiler show. So you, you guys, as much as we want you here listening live here on twitch.tv, uh, forward slash maelstrom radio, I completely understand if you've not reached this point in the story, you don't want to be spoiled by it. Uh, so we appreciate you coming out, and if you want to listen to it later, it will be up on iTunes. <clears throat> New Chronicles of Era quests have been added, so uh, we're gonna go fight the Abolos. <laughs> this is uh, Dune Scathe. Uh, so you know, I want it, I want it, I want it in my my face. Between the uh, airship fight. And uh, some of the other ones that was shown in the previous trailer, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm also gonna die a lot. Yes, <laughs> uh, new warring triad, of course. Uh, the the last pillar to fall, uh, which is Zervon the demon. Uh, you can see, kind of see him here, all glowy and angry. I suspect that he will have a transition change. <laughs> Maybe similar. Just, to, just maybe. Yeah, maybe similar to that we had uh, with. Um, I forget his name. You want to help me out here, Captain? Like forearmed, fell over, grew big. Are you talking about Sephiroth? That one. <laughs> if you're new here, you'll soon find out that I'll forget. I know a lot about this game, but I will soon forget names in this game so bad when it comes to doing the show. After the show, <laughs> roll right off my tongue. He even says his name in the middle of his song. He does. So bad. 
Uh, new side quest stories have been added. Uh, of course, we have the uh, Scholasticate, which I still haven't done. I'll do it. You know what? I'm going to do it sometime between the end of this expansion. So, uh, like, And then the, the gap of time between now and Stormblood. Because guess what? Why rush? <laughs> I did see someone point out that we are getting the appearance item for the Scholasticate robes. So that's kind of cool. Definitely looking forward to that. These right here, this thing. Yes, I believe so. Like the. Next I'm gonna guess the 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 side ones. All right. Looking at my neckerchief. Well, <clears throat> Hildebrand. So uh, my, uh, it's gonna the next quest in the line, the proud and the pointy eyed. Um. Kind of confused about that one. A little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen in Hildebrand or how long it's going to be, but it looks like it's only going to be about two quests long, shorter than Scholastic. I don't know how much content is in those two, but this one has question marks. So whatever the title is, rather spoiler or something. Maybe? So I do we do know. know. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, I do not know what's going to happen with our inspector extraordinaire, but it may not be good. <laughs> We do know that there is a uh, VV minion that comes out uh, with this patch as well, so maybe that's related. Hopefully that's related. I mean, GG. It's not GG. It's GG. You said VV. Oh, GG. Uh, VV. One of them. The other ones are secret. Yeah, VVs are secret. Uh... New anima weapon uh, quests have been added. Uh, born again anima, uh, some assembly required body and soul. Now, what we didn't see here and what uh, Shin pointed out to me, and also it was in the Game & Watch interview, uh, so I didn't. we didn't do a show on that one. A lot of, there's been a lot of news coming out lately. Uh, I don't know if we'll go back. Uh, there may be some stuff that I do want to talk about, so maybe next show we'll do that. Um, but one part he did mention, uh, Yoshi P mentioned that, uh, why we're not seeing an Umbrite nerf this patch, next patch, <laughs> prior, somewhere between now and the next patch, we'll have an Umbrite nerf, and then, but, but by then, I may be done, <laughs> so... Now, let's be real here. I don't know, um, like at 30 some 36 right now? Only got, like... 210 something to 100 something more to get listen man don't don't harp <laughs> don't harp on <laughs> new beast tribe quests have been added uh this is i believe the beast tribe unity quest where they're all coming together and having a fun time and some first person shootings gonna happen it's a psychedelic dance rave it is uh players uh, there's a quest called lift me to the moon who who even knows? I do have to say that I I don't have my beast tribes up to the level that I need to do these quests yet. But okay. I'm really gonna focus and do that now because I really like the achievement for completing the final quest. It's a great achievement. <laughs> new, new side story quests have been added. The fires of some all, an eggy by any other name, and fiery wings, fiery hearts. Uh, so, I mean, if, you, if you're not paying attention, uh, so the Fires of Salma All, of course, is the Salma All Hard. An Eggy by other, any other name can actually be completed uh, by level 50 Summoner. So it's not something you need particularly Heaven's Word for. So if you are still, if you still have not purchased Heaven's Word at this point, please go buy it. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I understand. Maybe we'll give away a copy of Heaven's Word between now and the new expansion. I'm not sure. I'm usually into giving mood sometimes. <laughs> like now. Uh, an Eggy by any other name, uh, level 50 summer quest, uh, you can change your carb, uh, your Eggies into Carbuncles. So, you know, that's the start. But, you know, it's a start. And, uh, there are three different colors. There are. Fire wings, fire your hearts. Uh, this is uh, for the burb. The, the master burb. Once you collect all the other burbs, they all... They summon their powers, then become Master Burb. And Master Burb is what you get. So, <clears throat> The amount of XP gained from level 15 through 50 Disciple of the Hand and Land Quest have been increased. Uh, that's good. <laughs> uh, 
as you f you come to find out that a lot of the uh, crafting is going to be increased from level 15 to 50 because once you get to Heaven's Word, you can just do the move quests and you'll do them right your level. So I am happy about Assuming that. Assuming you can put up with Moogles. Uh, you have, I mean, if you haven't started doing the like Moogle side quest over in uh, Sea of Clouds, I started at, I almost wanted to murder myself. I was like, you mean I gotta go find Moogles? I'm out, I'm done. Fates. I got nothing. <laughs> all right, I, all right. I take that back. I do have something. I have something with these fates. All right. Uh, still ring and behold, behemoth. Long live the curl and pray online. Uh, those will be uh, popping more. So behemoth is a, a a fate. Oddly enough, in my time in playing a realm reborn and heaven's word, I think I've seen behemoth once. Maybe? I don't think I've ever encountered it. I have gone by the area. I think I saw it once and I died when I walked. I was like, I'm gonna go, f I'm gonna go fight Behemoth. And it was, I think it was my paladin days and I ran over there. I'm like, I'm like, charge! And I died. That was it. Uh, Prey Online's time limit has been increased from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. And then um, the location of It's Not Lupus has been adjusted. And Acubin's HP has been lowered. So... I I don't know where they're putting this. It's not lupus. I don't know where. I know they're going to add swimming. A bit farther, maybe? Maybe. That's the only thing I could think of. Because they're adding swimming to Casa del Sol in the expansion. And maybe they don't want people swimming there and getting assaulted during. Maybe? But I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Treasure hunt. New additions and adjustments have been made uh, to rewards for Aquapolis as follows. They're adding crap. <laughs> and the drop rate of other crap is being increased. That's kind of interesting, because there's been a lot of stuff out. And honestly, I can't complain about most of the drop rates. I've gotten quite a bit from the Aquapolis. Go on, tell me more about your drops and your winnings, sir. Everyone... You seem to be the only one that's like a, hasn't gotten many drops in our group. Like... We were even playing recently, and the one person who has just hit 60 and started playing has gotten multiple minions. Oh, no, sorry, that was Palace of the Dead. Different drop story. Hi. You know that thing where RNG doesn't happen for some folks, and some people get really sad and depressed? They're like, man, I've played this game for years. All I want is a fucking monkey. <laughs> Oh, one monkey. I never got the monkey. You got Don't a you monkey. have a paisa. I have a paisa. That's a monkey. Well, speaking, <laughs> speaking of paisas. Paisa. Oh, paisa that was terrible. Oh, that's fantastic. That was completely unintentional, and it worked out just perfectly. It did. <laughs> Look at that monkey house. I'm excited for that. That's a really tiny monkey house. It is. That's a small house. Uh, We're going to have to see what the bigger ones look like. Well, well we know large is multiple paises on the roof. So I'm assuming medium is probably a couple paises on the roof. That house says a lot. <laughs> That house says we're fucking jackasses and we know it. <laughs> now that house says I've seen some shit. And there's that too. <laughs> Even listen, you wanna know how many pi how pies of this house is? Oh, let me point this out. Alright, I'm gonna I don't know if you guys see my mouse. You probably can't, but like the archway paisa. Next to the archway, if you look close, there's a little paisa there, right? Paisa roof, right? Paisa door. <laughs> Look at the door. It's a paisa. So much paisa. <laughs> so, I'm gonna love it. Wherever we move next. Love it. Alright. The window displayed uh, when you exchange seals for items uh, looks different. They put Instead of everything being on the top, it's all on the side. That makes more sense to me. Um, because you can kind of go from low end to high end. Or high to low. 
low to high? <laughs> I don't know if it did. <laughs> Let's get in game and see it. It gives us a little bit more room to uh, add, hopefully add a few more ranks in there. That as well. That also seems like a loop to die. The following additions to and adjustments have been made to Adventure Squadron. Uh, the squadron attribute selection uh, for Adventure Squadron's menu now displays maximum limit for the value of the squadron at player's rank. So what is that? <laughs> and the pop-up help is now displayed when players hover their cursor over the classes and attributes in Adventure Squadron's menu. So you can kind of see that. All right, mental ability, uh, strength, whatever that one is. <laughs> that yellow one that I forget the name of. Uh, it's also been made easier to see if your squadron meets strength requirements when selecting squadron missions. That's good. That makes sense uh, because I think a lot of people are visual Like when they come to that. like I, I do it and I'm like, all right, because I, I can kind of peep and just if the numbers are higher and lower. But I think some people are just need to see color and like see see like a thing like all right green green red red all right cool I can't go. I do like the shiny colors. Who doesn't? Uh, players will not be able to turn off squadron status updates during cutscenes. That's good. Uh, time limits for priority missions are now clearly displayed. That's also good. The default cursor position has been changed from OK to cancel, and yes to no. For the following confirmation messages, when you change your squadron chemistry, when the squadron sergeant cancels the mission, and canceling training on the regiment board. I think that's a little, that'll be a nice little quality of life change of, oops, I did not accidentally mean to click that immediately. Yes. I mean, uh, the following, make sure I was reading, scroll down so everybody can see that. Uh, the following items can now be purchased from the resident caretakers in each of the residential districts. Forever Friends. It's part of fun. And the following items can be purchased from the OIC Quartermasters and Grand Company uh, Headquarters in exchange for company credits. Outdoor Furnishing. Noongrass Plot. So, uh, adjustment to the apartments. Uh, you get a little uh, delivery moogle out in the lobby. So... You can go get your mail. Also, picture frames, which allow you to hang up paintings, have been added. So, uh, picture uh, picture frames can be uh, used to hang up paintings, and there are three sizes to frame, which can be all hung up in free company estates, private estates, and apartments. There will be no restriction on the number of frames uh, you can use in the one estate, as we found out yesterday. <laughs> When I walked in, and my our FC mate decided to put up ten pictures of Hildebrand on our wall in a column above the stairs. So the only problem that I'm seeing with that is that there wasn't more. You want? We're gonna slowly build out our shrine. Can we get it to be one of those things where? You back out far enough away, and it's a picture. Like all the pictures make one giant picture of Hildebrand. That would be great, but I don't think our house is big enough. How do we make that happen? Square. <laughs> Listen, uh, we're gonna need like an extra large house and an empty room, <laughs> and allow us to put paintings on the floor. Yes, that's what we need. Please give that to uh, Gurudi Gang on the Fanfrit server. I thank you. Do you think we're going to get that? We'll get it done. I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, let's get to do the paintings. Uh, grade one picture frame, uh, small, medium, and large pictures. Uh, the pictures will allow players to choose from painting which they wish to display. So all the paintings come from your. Uh, your uh, sightseeing log. So if you didn't do it, your SOL. <laughs> you did do it. Hey, got some paintings. <laughs> uh, players are now able to sell and purchase paintings on the market board. So you can take your paintings and sell them. So if you did do your sightseeing log, you were going to be a very rich person. If you didn't do your sightseeing log, I don't know what to tell you. Do your sightseeing log. Try to make some money. 
Uh, you can preview paintings, uh, shops, market board, linked items, and log window and inventory. So that uh, I would also like to point out that new furnishings have been added. Uh, this one in particular right here, the, the bush is a Paisa bush. So to complement the Paisa house, uh, we will have a row of Paisa bushes out front uh, to accentuate the Paisa. Are we going to have a whole bunch of those Paisas? I know we have one in our free company house, but you click on them and they wobble back and forth. Yeah. I think a whole roller of those would be pretty cool too. Yeah. The most sh shitty house. You can come to our plot ward and eight, I think. Plot eight, ward something. <laughs> ward 21, plot eight, I think. Maybe. Sounds right. Just search for Garuda Gang. Yeah. You'll know because it'll say something, something, Maelstrom Radio, something, something, Garuda Gang. You'll find us. Listen. As an FLC leader, I don't know where the hell we live. <laughs> I just, I just work there. Come ask me three days ago. I've been like, fuck yeah, I know where we live because I'm in game. I don't know what's happening anymore. He's not stopping me. He's, he won't stop. Me. We can grow bushes. How come you didn't say just shut up and talk about the bushes? You can grow some shit. We were doing so well when you started letting me talk about the ward. What happened? I let you talk. Fair enough. Uh, so we have har new harvestable crops. I have no idea what the hell that is. What, plums? I don't know. There's some sort of bush. What fruit? Bear, they're fruit-bearing bushes. What, what is that? Nurples? I don't know, but it's really sparkling. It is. I'm going to call them nurples. <laughs> We're getting nurple. Uh, adjustments to the uh, the junk mongers, armor menders, and uh, they have all have new appearances. Uh, you can change them. So I, th I think there's different permit types for different looks. So take that for what it is. Uh, so if you have a specific look you're trying to go for, you're trying to RP, I guess, uh, you want to change them up a little bit, there you go. They also sell uh, uh, estates. Uh, they'll sell. Uh, they'll now sell estate-related items. Uh, the housing merchants, the apartment merchants, and estate manservant and maid servant. So nice little quality change of life. I'm down for that. The one thing that we've been talking about a lot for FCs is aquariums and wanting aquariums and getting an aquarium. If you redecor redecorate the house, you need to put an aquarium in. You need to figure out how to put nothing but uh, Hildebrand pictures inside the aquarium. <laughs> along with the Pais. Uh So they've added a bunch of new fish. Uh, I want to see these extra large ones. Why is the chub small? Because they're tiny fish? Ch small chub. Just small chub. They are smaller than the cupfish. They are smaller than the cupfish. Let's see, angel mummer ras dinicthis din din dinic What is that? Is that that fish? This you know, there's some sort of person there's a person out there that knows how to pronounce that they're like are driving them mental right now i don't know but i i googled it uh -huh. and it looks like a pretty uh awesome fish what does a chub look like oh chub <laughs> oh wow apparently they can be pretty big too chubs <laughs> oh, you're right though i guess I wonder if Aorus has got the biggest chubs in all the I do, in fact. Uh... Did you just send me a link for chub fishing? I might have, yep. Oh, uh, well, chat hurt. I didn't have Skype sound. I did! What the fuck? Oops. I hate Skype. 
Uh, there's no way we can bring that up on stream, is yeah. there? Uh, uh, there's a possibility if I can. Well, I'll just link it in chat for those interested. Send, send it to me in our other chat. Sorry, I can't grab it off that one. Got too many chats going on. That one. I'll, I'll work magic. All right, well, you work magic. I'll uh, keep going here. We have some also some new uh, interior items for the aquarium. We have some crystal scape tank trimmings. And on top of that, we get some new orchestrian rolls for the house. I have to say that I am, in fact, loving, loving the uh, duality orchestrian rolls that are playing our FC right now. Seem to have uh, some trouble there getting the chub on screen. I am. <laughs> it's over to the left. Awesome. I will figure out how to get this chub on the screen, so help me. Wait a minute, I got it. Hold on. I know how. We have some great typical stuff. There we go. There's the chub right there. You can see that? I don't think that's that, a massive chub. That's a big chub. And that, that's the small fish, so I'm afraid of the other ones, right. considering the size of the other ones. Go back to the. Go back to the. Go back. I'm so glad we stopped the show for chub talk. Chub chat. Chub chat. Chub chat. There's one person out there that is laughing. The rest of the people tuned out. Like they're like, "What the fuck is this show?" <laughs> Where the Final Fantasy XIV show your mother warned you about. Welcome, defy your mother. Actually, call your if mother. If she didn't, you. then we'll warn you. Yeah, and tell your mom I said hi. Um. <laughs> fuck. All right, Gold Saucer has now insulted everybody. Adjust Time for gambling. Yeah, let's gamble. Adjustments have been made to triple triad tournaments as follows. This is essentially just to stop um, win trading in uh, triple triad. This is all it is, or win feeding. Um, so if you've been cheating, guess what? Your days are numbered. Not that you're going to be in trouble. They're just your, your chances of cheating are going to be a lot lower. Uh, you're going to sign up for tournament matching, and they're going to players will appear in gold saucer of course uh square tournament match or finish with tournament matches regardless of where they start in with the match players will be removed from battle hall 15 minutes before end of tournaments if the event players are in the middle of the match at this time they will leave the battle hall once their match is finished players will not be paired with players they have already battled uh while they are in the same battle hall so there you go get your uh get on that um it's just more triple triad stuff, really, guys. I mean, uh, we got some new cards. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to the cards because uh, there's more, there's a couple in here. Um, this one, the, the monkey, this is the monkey. I think a couple of these are from Bellsar's Wall, wall, and I think I'm gonna say that maybe some of these are from also. Um, I don't know, definitely from Bellsar's Wall. I'm gonna say these three right here. The the first one. The third one, and then the first one on the bottom row. I think are from Bellsource. They look like Magitek to me. That's me, though. That's fair. Uh, also, They're definitely not from the new raid. No. Not their, their numbers are too low, I think. Yeah, they're, they are. They're too low. Uh, not not that they won't, they won't have cards, but it's just those are the ones we see here. Uh, so uh, my something I, I'm excited for, the amount of MGP pl uh, players can obtain while trading cards to the triple triad trader has been increased. I don't know if you know this guys, but quite a bit. But this is a lot, like this, a lot, a lot. Uh, a five m uh, a one star was five MGP is now a hundred MGP. A two star is now three hundred. A three stars five hundred MGP now. A four stars eight hundred, and a six a five. Star, I'm sorry, a five star is fifteen hundred MGP. Running some old content, getting triple triad cards, going in, and you're making a bank. You're gonna get that Fenrir mount, and before Stormblood even launches, you're gonna sit there and get your storm. You get your uh, Fenrir mount. 
No questions asked. No questions asked now to even run content for triple triad cards. Don't pass them up. Take them. If you got doubles, doesn't matter. Get them, trade them in, and get your Fenrir mount. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and somehow everything switched on me. Uh, fantastic. If I make an edit to a video, you know it's going to be real. It's going to be real things going on. Uh, where am I? Hair, new hairstyles have been added. Uh, I got nothing. We also got some nice new emotes, though. That I like. Oh, spectacles. Uh, yeah, I'm down for that. I like the uh, the adjust the glasses. I don't don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> I don't know if that's a new uh, harsh font or not. I, oh. It's definitely not a new harsh font. That's. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Gotta bring up all the feels on our show. It's a new harsh of fun. Nobody's. Everyone's celebrating. Everyone's happy. <laughs> it's a new harsh of fun. Oh no. Oh no. What? what? Oh. So, from later on in the patch notes. Dear listeners, it sounds like this could be the Moonlift dance, which I guess would be from completing the Beast Tribe uh, quests later on. I'm so sorry. He's such a lovely NPC. Idol Shard's getting me golden. Uh, what? What is going on anymore? Uh, a new Eggies. That's a new Eggies. A red one. I guess, you know. I'm rolled Carbuncle, Topaz Carbuncle, and Ruby Carbuncle. Yeah, if you saw the trailer from last week when we went over it, you're going to see this. Uh, it's not a big deal. You just get it. Uh,. So uh, we're going to add new dungeons. Of course, we're getting Bellsworth's Wall. The level requirement is 60. Um, the item level requirement uh, is either, uh, average item level to 30 or above. Party size, four players. Time limit is 90 minutes. So all the, the usual. 230 is probably about right. I figured that would probably be where our stuff is at. Um, same for uh, some all hard. Uh, Containment Bay. Here, now here's the interesting. Containment Bay is E129. The average item level is 235, so I'm skating in there. <laughs> skating right in. Uh, I probably want to run the dungeons first to see if I'm going to piece to subsidize. Actually, what I'll end up doing is probably buying a piece. Uh, when when servers go live, I'll be like two something. Um, and then we have Containment Bay Z129 Extreme. Of course, I'm assuming a weapon will drop uh, to kind of match the new anima or be in line with it he's also will do parties uh we're just saying as no, he, out of a cake yeah he does he jumps out he's uh he's uh he's the first demon man thing to jump out of cakes it's a uh his business is slow but it's starting it's a niche thing really you can call him for parties maybe nsfw <laughs> Dune Scathe, uh, New Alliance Raid Dungeon, uh, has been added. This, of course, is the continuing of the mock storyline. Uh, the, the city that we run through is gorgeous. So what we've seen in the trailer, what we've seen in pictures, this is a full-fledged city taking, taken over by Void Scent. Now, a, a running theory is, is that the new housing area is this. It's this place. We clear out the Void Scent. We, we scrub it down, we get a pressure washer out there, we <laughs> get a little back rub, uh, you know, this old city. I mean, it makes sense, there's market board. Got nothing on that. It really, we don't, we don't have anything, there's nothing. Listen, you're talking to a crazed man with a microphone and a, and a Canadian man who decided that hey, maybe just doing a show with you is a good idea. I think slowly as every episode goes by, he's like, next episode I tell him I'm leaving. 
<laughs> One more. Uh. Why did you leave chug fishing in chat? This was before we were having issues with the, the whole stream fishing. thing. I don't know. Can't remember. <clears throat> uh, completion reward. So upon completing Dune's Gate, players also earn a separate reward once per week. This reward can be exchanged with Bertana in Idleshire for items used to enhance equipment purchased with Allegan Tomestones of Scripture. Now, I would like to point out that earlier today, this is a bore. That, that, that was definitely a bug. That was a bug. Uh, it did say lore, and that was changed. So, uh, Maki matter would no longer be obtainable in the Weeping City of Mock. It could now be obtained in Dean's Gate, which, of course, is what happened prior when we went from Void Arc to uh, Swamp City. Uh, the drop rates uh, for the Warring uh, Lantern Whistle, Dark Lantern Whistle, and the Sophiac Lantern Whistle have been increased, uh, which. Makes sense. Also, uh, they have now have Fiend Totems and Horde Totems, uh, respectively. So if you're not getting the drops for the whistles, you're going to be able to get the tokens. 99 gets you a whistle. Whistle gets you a bird. So, and if you get all of the whistles, you can get Master Burb. Yeah. Everybody wants Master Burb. Uh, players now receive the power of the Echo in the event all party members are incapacitated during the Fong Trials. Containment Bay P1T6 and Containment Bay P1T6 Extreme. So, Sophia. She hits hard. No, she won't hit as hard. <laughs> uh, the limitation of certain rewards for Alexander have been removed. The limitation of the Alexandrian gear reward in Alexander, the soul of the creator, has been, not been removed. Uh, the strength of Echo granted in Alexander Midas Savage has been increased. And the duties with the fall, uh, duty finder have been recognized as follows. So, no, same thing that happens as always. Uh, Zephatal, the Great Global Library are out. Belsar's Wall, so I'm all hard or in. Uh, Zephatal li and Library get moved to the level 60 dungeons, and we just go along our merry way. This will be how it is going to be until we reach Stormblood. Unless they surprise us with a dungeon or something. I doubt it. But I'll take it. I feel Belsar's Wall is our, uh, um, what's it called, for this for this patch. Um, what's the the lake? <laughs> Keeper of the lake. That one. See, I was close. I got the lake. <laughs> we're we're gonna go and invade something and have a little mini dragon dude with us. Me? He may pop out. It's been a while. That wouldn't surprise me, no. He's like, you've come a long way. I don't know why I made him give him that voice, but... Uh, let's see. Uh, just normal stuff. Uh, Containment Bay Z1T9 has been added to Duly Roulette. We know that. Dune's Gate. All, all the new stuff is that being added to the Duly, uh, Duty Roulette Finder. Uh, same with Extreme. To Raid Finder. Uh... Let's see, there is some changes to Palace of the Dead. Players can now check an uh, item health text when appraising a piece of the Accursed Horde by hovering over the item icon. So, that's nice. And the maps, for certain passageways connecting to rooms containing the Karen of Return and the Karen of Passage have been adjusted for visibility. That kind of makes sense, because um, I've been lost before. <laughs> specifically me and so sometimes maps are hard guys maps can be really tough i don't like maps anyway um <clears throat> and again i question why <laughs> why you let me talk this much uh so let's see uh due to adjustments being made in certain contents of the patch players will temporarily be unable to embark on exploratory missions to the diadem thank god because uh, I kind of want the new one. <laughs> There's big space tigers and shit, like in that crystal. I want that, man. I want that in my life. Do you not want that? It, it looks pretty exciting to go and run. Great. I don't know. I don't know why I got. That's not a threatening. 
<laughs> God, I was trying to threaten you with beating him. We're doing it. Got to do it live. Uh, the following adjustments have been made to the frontline PvP encounters. It's time to get sexy. Let me get in close on the mic. Hmm. Players can now register as a freelancer. And it will be automatically matched to a grand company at random. Why do I sound like Patrick Warburton? Peter. <laughs> uh, learn more about registering because I better stop. Uh, achievements will not... Uh, uh, will <laughs> achievements will only be counted towards your affiliated grand company. Uh, so registering as freelancer, uh, as far as I know, is done outside. You don't just do it. So you got to go into your little party box, kind of like when you do on sync. There's gonna be an option for freelancer. You select that. Guess what? Your queue times will go down like that, like a Nintendo Switch, like one of these. <laughs> don't shake your head. Yeah, you had to bring that up again, I didn't did. you? I couldn't get over the that. I can't. It's gotta stop. Um, stop it. <laughs> the good news with it, though, is with PvP, uh, they are going to be removing chat and replacing it with quick chat. Yeah, uh, which is here. Hello. Good match. Thank you. Nice job. I'm trying to figure out which one of these will mean fuck you. I'm, just... I'm trying. Tell me which one of these will mean that. Because one of the, one of them is going to be that. Like, one of them is going to be, like, the screw you thing. And I don't know which one yet. I I have a feeling, and this is my feeling, collecting medals. I think that's going to be the FU. Or I don't know. As a healer, I would want to just keep spamming stopping healer. Stopping healer? Uh, that could work. No heals for you. Yeah, because a community is always going to pick out one. When you get when you take away their communication, they're always going to find one thing. Um, like in uh, what is it? Clash of Clans or even Hearthstone. Like like you can only say something repetitively only so much. Um, before like you realize like someone's doing like uh for Clash of Clans you can do a laugh and a cry. So if you spam cry, then start laughing and then crying. It's kind of like F you if you win <laughs> person. I don't know why it is. Listen, don't be a dick. <laughs> How about that? Just play the game. Let's, just, let's not find one that everyone's going to use. Yeah, let's not be, let's not us be the catalyst for this. <laughs> the wolf marks reported upon the victory and defeat of Wolves Den. The feasts have been raised. That's actually really cool. Guys, go do some PvP this week. Not only are you going to be able to do some story, PvP's got no. You can do freelancing and be do, able to go do your wolves den because the win now also gives you 500 wool, like the, you know, wolf's marks and it's 500 of them and the loss is 250. That's not too shabby. Um, and that'll help you get the new PvP gear. Yes, you just took the words right out of my damn mouth. Look at that Garo gear. Sexy. Like, guy, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, uh, listening, uh, the, the Garo gear, you can get it from Gold Saucer. Sure, it's there. You can get mgp it up play some games and got get your armor you want to dye it you want to get in there and add some color to it you don't want a gold suit you want a turquoise suit no no you don't you want to be hot pink all right i can see it hot all right <laughs> i did used to pvp in a hot pink robe back when uh, i played everquest 2 good times please make that a thing again <laughs> Maybe maybe if we can find some hot pink robes, we will glamour ourselves and go into PvP next week. I, dude, I will listen. I will get the Dark Knight armor set and I will I will hot pink it out. And go in. Hey, we could probably use the uh, the recent holiday robe. Can we have a, Can we start a PvP group called the Pink Ladies and just be on? <laughs> only if they're all Lalafell. No, that's the pink potatoes. Uh, Priestly, Priestly Apotica in chat. Uh, I'll mail you one. So, I, wait, do we have to real, wait, do we have to wear real pink robes? <laughs> While we PvP in our chairs. Uh, Chili also in chat there, because uh, I don't know if you missed it or not, but he said too much pink energy is dangerous. Uh, I, I'd like to disagree with that. I think more pink energy would, uh, help with the quality of our PvP. Not so much about the whole, uh, 
we wouldn't be any better at PvP. It would just be a lot more fun as we fail horribly. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's just how pink you are on the inside. <laughs> I broke him! <laughs> You're not supposed to eat the robe. <laughs> oh, yay! The following adjustments have been made to spectator mode for custom matches. Pressing any movement key while using the player camera. I promise you, we are giving away a pet after this. If you suffer through this much in this show, I promise you live we'll be giving it away a, a, a pet of your choice off the uh, mock station. So as soon as mock station's up, whoever the winner is, just tell me what you want. We'll we'll send you the code for it. Uh, no questions asked. Uh, Thank you. Uh, just make sure you are following us because that is the thing. Because I need to message you directly here on Twitch to send you stuff. So make sure you're hitting that follow button live here on Twitch.tv forward slash Millstrom Radio. I, uh, we're going to get through. Uh, we may skip some stuff like, like crafting. Uh, so uh, the following adjustments have been made to spectator mode for uh, custom matches. Pressing the moving key while using the player camera will immediately switch to a free camera. Uh, just stuff with the cameras and just switching around uh, for uh, spectator mode. Uh, Shit and I have not shot cast a match match yet. We may do that. <laughs> Imagine this this level of comedy down here with this high level of PvP. Uh, not gonna happen. Uh, the following just been made to duels. Uh, sync item to lowest level. Players can now be able to sync their item levels. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then we're requesting a duel. Sync item level to lowest. Sync item level to 150. Do not sync item level. Uh, if you're balls to the wall, I guess you're not sinking item level. <laughs> the recast time skills of your set duel commences. Uh, the counter for resistance status inflictions of your set when starting a duel. And once the duel commences, players will not uh, will be unable to attack striking enemies. Makes sense. That's just uh, quality of life stuff. Uh, following just, just, uh, adjustments have been made to Chocobo Companions. Actually, this is really important. Chocobo Companions now will show up as pets. They're not going to no longer be like a party member. Uh, so that's cool because that means that you're going to have everybody have a chocobo out everybody's gonna have a carbuncle out it's gonna be that's gonna get crazy it's gonna be giant parties cats and dogs getting together having fun surviving chicken raining down from the sky rocks <laughs> did i go too far i'm just i'm just trying to imagine this with like chickens raining down from the sky and chocobos everywhere yeah. Listen, did I have to remind you what we did for our Heavens Tournament? Oh, I'm I'm very much aware. All right, just making sure. New items have been added. Of course, uh, the above is our Dune Scathe uh, gear. Uh, now not pictured here, but the 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 Dark Knight helmet looked the the warrior the the tank the tank helmet. Good stuff. Uh, the dungeon gear looks phenomenal. This is very much Metal Gear Solid. Uh... Yeah, the, the new gear is... Uh... It's awesome. I'm not so sure about the whole gas mask thing, but I definitely like the uh, the one above. I hope you rock that gas mask. <laughs> I want you to so bad. With the pink robe. Yes. That says a lot. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That says, let's like... Anyway, new crafting recipes have been added. Like I said, I'm not really good. Uh, so this is a weird change. Uh, I, I, for some reason, the only things change here with the Star Velvet ha uh, him him Emission of Healing. Him himation of Healing. And the Open Toe Boots of Healing. Like The only thing that got swapped around are Sapphire and Rubies. Like, one had Sapphire, and then they swapped. I don't know why. I, I'm not a crafter. Like, listen, if you're a crafter, explain that to me, because I don't know. Uh, the Company Issue Engineering Manuals, all the manuals, in fact, uh, got a nice bump in xp so uh like before it was plus 50 percent, so it's still a 50 percent uh, up to a maximum of now from twenty thousand to fifty thousand. Twenty, so it was twenty thousand now you're gonna get fifty thousand points of xp if it was forty thousand it's gonna be a hundred thousand points so they're really trying to bump up crafting before the expansion comes out that's really good sounds like a great thing i don't know if this is because the photographer class is coming but if Shin's right, that'd be the weirdest damn thing I've ever seen. Anyway, I would love it. I know you would, buddy. Uh, that's all our crafting stuff. I, I'm going to skip a lot of this because we'll be here forever, and I don't want to be here forever. 
Uh, General idea, they bumped up some of the experience on the manuals. Yep. Uh, a bunch of items got their specialization removed. Yep. And uh, you can now craft some more camphor yes. from the single uh, Also, Yes, and uh, high quality, the chance for high quality, uh, to get high quality, uh, the difficulty has been decreased. Like, you'll have a high, better chance of hitting high quality now. Uh, makes sense. Uh, some crafting was a little tough uh, early on. Uh, now, this is the nice little change. Uh, new tradable items are available for exchange for uh, at Ardolan in Foundation, Legendary Clan Mark Log. Uh, it gives you 500 Centauria Seals, so that's nice. Uh, new tradable items available exchange for uh, Britannia and Idleshire. The difficulty uh, for synthesizing H uh, HQ items for quick synthesis has been reduced. So there you go. Like I said, good stuff. Uh, XP gain for crafting and gathering has been increased for levels 1 through 55. 50, whoa, what? 55? Interesting. Now, up above it said 1 through 50. So is this a typo or is this real? Did I catch them again? <laughs> Greetings, what's wrong with you? Uh, so, I don't know, uh, sure, I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> I'm holding it, let's into the notes, I'm taking it, we'll hold it to, everyone listening right now, hold it to it, 55. Uh, bamboo stick, waterfowl feather, uh, no longer classified as hidden or rare. Bamboo is broken. Uh, new big fish have been added to the fishing spots in Ishgard. Get your big fish. Just not a chub. They're considered small. Uh, new items have been added to certain NPC shops. Uh, all right. So Nath Thorax has been changed to Vath Thorax. That makes sense. Um, and new Chocobo Barding has been added. Of course, that is of uh, Zervon the Demon Barding, which looks awesome. Uh, new mounts have been added. The Dunescape mount. Not sure how we get that Alice yet. Alice in Wonderland chair. It is the Alice in Wonderland chair. Uh, Shin. We're getting, I, we're getting one of the greatest mounts. Mounts? The chair? No. I'm not. I'm sorry, minions. We're getting one of the greatest minions ever. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I thought we just went over the mount, but yes. Actually, both of these are kind of awesome. I want that bulldog puppy. I don't know what I have to kill or collect or maim or rub. I don't know what I'm doing. But I gotta get that dog. I need that dog in my life. That's a pretty massive tongue on that dog. He's a bulldog puppy. Azure Dragoon. Nobody cares about him. Well, the doggy. <laughs> Doggo. But it's a Stinian who's totally not possessed by an evil dragon. Well, we get Doggo. You get Pupper? Yeah. That's all I care about. Uh, new achievements been added. By the way, all those glowy weapons or glowy crafting items are from achievements. There you go. I do want to say that I really like the achievement names for all of the uh, anima weapon quest lines. The achievement name is just "It's done." It's done. Uh. Oh, it gets a name at the end of it. Yeah, so it'll be it's it's done, and the name of the weapon that you'll be getting <laughs> which one do you think is deathlock who do you think that belongs to you i don't remember there is a thread on reddit somewhere in the final fantasy 14 subreddit that actually goes through and tries to match all of these based on previous games i would say deathlock is probably dark knight you probably have a good luck with that one yeah Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, Edder and Parawin is definitely uh, Paladin because two items. Yeah, I'm good at this. I got two down. I'm not gonna do anymore. Uh, I made that. <laughs> I caught that. So I love. The, you're right. I do like these names. I think they're running out of names. They're just like I caught that five. No, th those are those have been there forever. Have Why there? I caught that five, and I found that five. I know it's because it's the same thing as Kiraga. Like we read the book, they're just getting listen. Anyway. Let's not bring up the cure. Yeah. <laughs> nipples, nipples. Wait, what? Did I miss nipples? Nay, nipples. 
I don't know how you see. Is that not nipples? Right here. It's done. <laughs> like right after Eddie or Prewin. Prewin? Nipples? Nipples? Nepalese? Not even gonna try here. All right. All right. All right, the Makaibo five piece set. Uh, these are all the Garo uh, achievements. Uh, Fatal Feast, <laughs> uh, Frontline Fury, Furious <laughs> Fatalities. Uh, these are all the achievements. Of course, uh, duties uh, count towards high level full party achievements. Bowl of Embers. That's all. It's all the same. This is all going to be for, uh, I believe, tanking uh, stuff. Uh, Party Finder is being changed as well. This is the cross server Party Finder. So uh, within data center, yep. Yeah, within within yeah, all that you recruit members across data center. You can put a password protect on it. You can use numbers. You can do words. You can make it uh, cool. You can wear it. Uh, you can do pretty in pink as a password if you wanted to. <laughs> I I don't believe you can use words in your password. I think it's only four digits. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, additions and adjustments have been made to party recruitment as follows. Uh, search uh, feature with search filters, which makes sense. So it's a nice overhaul to the party system, which is probably just greatly needed at this point. And you can specify cross-world party. Uh, search information indicating your cross-world uh, party status will be added. So heavens, heavens with seven. All that fun stuff. Uh... Uh, players will now be able to share information with those they have recently partied with via the contact list feature, which is also nice. This is all super duper great stuff. Um, it's more stuff that in game it makes sense and to me to try to explain it. I may just sound like a dummy. I don't know. I already do that already, so I don't need to. Uh, blacklist adjustments have been uh, added as follows. Uh, players from other worlds will now be registered to the blacklist. Yay! all we need to know retainers will now be able to obtain up to five of the following items from botany retainer ventures um bamboo stick waterfowl feather all right uh the novice network has been adjusted as follows a confirmation prompt will now appear when invited to the novice network join the novice network or decline you've accepted an invite to the novice network as a mentor uh i don't know if this will stop the 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 bad mentors from happening you know who you are <laughs> the good mentors you're doing a great job you guys are fantastic uh but you know do something <laughs> better uh and then uh players who have not played the game in 45 days or more and have at least one class or job at level 50 or above will now receive return status return status gives you a bonus to leveling get a uh, bonus of party with mentors all the fun stuff uh, yeah, Dogatron, Dogatron in chat. That's why I turned down the crown. Uh, you'd be a good mentor. I think you'd be a great mentor. That's me, buddy. Uh, and uh, you get a flower. You get a. You don't get a twiglet. You're not a twiglet, as we like to lovingly call them uh, in the Gruda game. You're uh. You're a, you're a flower. Players can now invite qualifying offline friends and free company members to return and play the game during certain campaign periods. This I didn't know. To send an invitation, select a player from the free company member list who is offline. Select an invite friend and return to sub, uh, sub command menu. Provide they meet the requirements of the campaign, they will receive an email indicating you have invited them to return. Review details of the campaign. Shin, uh, do me a favor, take a look at those details. Let me know if there's any bonuses for that. That's interesting. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's any bonuses, although they did say that they're going to release the campaign site tomorrow, I believe. So uh, there might be some other stuff on there, but there's nothing else with that uh, so far. It'd be interesting to do, uh, to invite somebody back, maybe give them a, not like a refer friend, but like maybe a uh, returner status and you get something too, like a little bonus XP. Something. I'm just saying something. You know, I got to do the work. <laughs> I have a feeling it'll be something similar to the existing recruiter friend uh, benefits that we get, although probably a little bit toned down. Makes sense. 
Uh, duty finder raid finder have been adjusted as follows. The status for duty finder will now appear on the duty list. That is fantastic. I love that. Um, uh, for the PlayStation 3 version, the status will appear via tooltip when selecting the duty list. Hey, hey, guess what? You, that's fine, because you got like, like, four or five months left. <laughs> so, sorry. Don't, I'm not trying to dig a knife in, but free warning, you guys. It's a golden fire flower from Mario. Is it? No, it's not that. It is. <laughs> so, <laughs> my column up here next to duties you've completed. Uh, it's just a check mark. Uh, you can join party pro process, uh, progress. You can undersize party. Uh, you can do minimum eye level. Uh, greed only loot master. This is all beautiful stuff. It's all stuff that we want, needed, and it's uh, you can set your average item level for requirements. So it's all good stuff. I'm just saying. Uh, tech, uh, a text auto advance function has been added for cutscenes. Of course they have. That's a cool. Um, That'll be nice. Yeah. When activating group pose and idling camera functions, your sa your status will be changed to camera mode. So now people won't run in front of me, hopefully, when I'm trying to take sweet shots of myself. There's lots of uh, idle camera and group pose yeah. changes here. They're also adding a group pose button and idling camera button, which I think is great, especially for a streamer or somebody who's trying to take a group shot. Uh, instead of having to type the command, then you can just hit a button and you're on button mode. Uh, they're also adding a bunch of new uh, Instagram sort of features. I can make a blur. I can do a, uh, the the old 70s thing over here with the, the camera and the Polaroid and uh, zoom. I can zoom and get real close, get far away. I can tilt the camera. Uh, I can make myself look cool and icy and fiery. I can make myself look like Ida. <laughs> I can do some... I don't know what's going on. I'm going to skip a lot of this, guys. I mean, uh, oh, here, character bars. So this is what I want to touch on. The uh, bars now can be stacked in different ways, which I love so much. Shin, did you know about that? Did you know about the bar stacking? Yes, I did. I want it. Listen, this is why you don't need add-ons. We can do this shit. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Only like four years after Ken came out. Hey. <laughs> Flying text for other players have been categorized as pop-up text can be disabled here. All right, so that's good. All right, that's good, man. Uh, let me go through and... Mostly just configuration yeah, changes, yeah, quality just of life up improvement. Yeah, all stuff that we know. So the text command's been added. Uh, there's still more things that... Uh, just, when you do character creation now, if the world's full, just say it'll give you an option now to select another world. Um, we are getting some new music added if that wasn't apparent already yeah new music of course uh, a link to the official Final Fantasy 14 Instagram account has been added to the launcher gotta get those likes <sighs> okay alright so I, this is all the items and let's like item levels 235 gear uh maki manhandler's face max this is all the dungeon stuff dungeon stuff is 235 uh filibuster's head of healing filibuster i think that is the i don't know <laughs> to be i don't know where this all fits in diabolic rundu body i also know it's not the diabolic stuff sounds like it's from the uh, alliance raid does it fantastic that's gonna be 260 gear uh, with uh, part two, we'll have the re the nerf, I think, with the last step of the relic. I as I mentioned it earlier, I think that's where it's gonna be. There's a lot of I'm trying to get to the one thing, the picture, the damn. Where is it? Stone. You know, like you know what I'm gonna do? The under painting. I'm gonna do a find. Boom. Haha. <laughs> Got it. Right there. Forever friends. This is the one thing I want to talk about before we end the show, and uh. Because everything else, guys, it's just, I, I could sit here and list all this crap out to you, but I will want to murder my throat <laughs> later. And I have work tomorrow, and I really don't want to do that. And Shin will kill me. So, <laughs> uh, so real quick, the Forever Friends is a wall-painted picture. The, the flavor text on the picture is a commissioned oil painting of Popamo and Ida, Arch Archons, Scions, Heroes, 
dot, 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 and friend. So a lot of people are speculating that something may be happening to Papa Monita. Um, maybe one of them is going to die. We don't know. Uh, that is a really hard speculation. If anything, to me, the way they separate heroes and friends makes me almost think that Gita is going to be conflicted more than dead. And Papa Mo, something's going to happen between the two, but I don't think it's going to be death. I think it's going to be a confliction between the two. Um, because we, as we know, Papa Mo and Gita are very two very opposite and uh it'd be interesting to see uh especially with the story going to where it is in stormblood uh not to say i don't think someone's gonna die uh we know people are gonna die we're not that lucky uh, i just don't know who uh and i don't know i feel like papa mo and Yita have more to add to a story going into stormblood than anyone else currently in our little ragtag group uh so that's me. I don't know. I think I definitely agree with Chili and Chat that, like, considering that it is being sold by a vendor, I don't think it's going to be a huge thing if it's a quest, like, in the whole overall scheme of things. I agree. If it was a quest reward, I would see it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we know if uh, Justinian friend is there? Is that a quest reward or Chloe giving us that? I, I would assume that he's a quest reward. His his minion there. All right, confirm. Justinian is back. Uh, <laughs> Along with all of the other ones that we have. Yeah, uh, I know we passed it up above. I didn't want to mention that Chloe. Some some changes to the uh, Wonder Rose Tales are happening. Uh, if you have to do a, a PvP match, it's not a specific thing. It's going to be whatever PvP. Like just queue for PvP. You're gonna you're gonna complete it, and then Palace of Dead. You don't have to do any specific floors like I had just had to do to complete my book. It's gonna be whatever. Just do Palace of the Dead. You can do floors one through ten. You're done. So that's it. We're good. We're done. We did it. The PV1 per- what? I'm sorry. Go ahead. The, the PV- PvP one in particular is just removing the requirements from frontline. So it's you still have to complete a frontline PvP, but it can be any of the frontline campaigns. Yeah. You can't do it through the feast. No. Don't read. And and Alexander the Creator has been added to the Wondrous Tales log. A to the L to the E, Alexander. No. Yeah. All right. Um. So before we go, of course, we want to give one lucky person in 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 chat who's been one. <laughs> Listen. I... Apparently, one two. No, it doesn't quite work out that way. Yeah. No. Best patch. Ten out of ten. It's not even out yet. <laughs> but yeah, best patch. Uh, uh, one person in chat. Uh, please, uh, please be reminded that you do have to click the uh the follow button uh that's not a big ask from us we just ask that you follow us uh so for two reasons one i want to give you something and in order for me to give you something i do need you to follow me so i can message you makes sense uh and i want you to win it because it's a pet it's of your choice gratis it's free any pet any pet on the mog station on the mog station mog station is not up i can't really go buy it right now i'd give it to you right now uh but as soon as mog station's up i will send you the code um i will pm you if you do have twitter you can follow us on twitter as well so if you don't catch your 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 twitch chat your twi- twitch messages right away i can also message you on twitter if you want to do that that's up to you but i will do it through twitch uh so let's do this shall we <laughs> so you're going to enter a Let's do one of these. You want to enter a so I open a new raffle. So you're gonna to want to enter a uh, exclamation point raffle or exclamation point raffle message. You know, so if you type exclamation point raffle, like I hope space, I hope I win, you'll still be entered. So one of those two things, which is exclamation point raffle. That is it. You'll do that. We'll raffle you, and then get you a get you a pet. So that's open now. You, uh, I'm gonna let you uh, guys take care of that. Go ahead and start hitting your exclamation point raffles, and uh, answer a Alfred plea. 
I don't know what an Alfred plea is. Do you plea with somebody named Alfred? Is it Batman? Are you Batman? Just hit, just hit exclamation point raffle. You get that thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, Shin, uh, is there any other news or anything I'm missing for today? Anything that I I missed that I need we need to talk about here? It's a lot. Of, I know it's a lot of messaging and data. And... Yeah, there was quite a lot in the patch notes there. I think we hit most of them there. We did. I'm just scroll through it. I don't think there's. It's all miscellaneous. Uh. So, uh, let's see. Wow, I'm surprised. Not a lot. Listen, guys, we do want to give this away. So if you're not entered, exclamation point raffle is raffling people sounds scary. I give you, it's fine. It is of your choice. Uh, I tweeted out something earlier. Uh, that includes the Panda Pet. Let's see if I remember them. All the uh, Scions, you can choose one of them if you want. You can choose the Magpie Bird, which is cool looking. To me, the Panda is probably m the most original because I think the Magpie is a reskin of a Blue Ray, the Blue Bird, or whatever. I think you can get a. Uh... Nanamo as well. Yes, there's a Nanamo, I believe. Somewhere in there. Uh so let's see. Next week how many what are we discussing next week? Do we know? Uh, we're not talking we're we'll, we'll we'll give our reactions to the patch without being talking spoilers of the patch. So Shinal Shin and I next week will probably update you about uh what we kind of went through and what we experienced so far, kind of where we're at in the patch. So did we complete the story? Did we get our Garo gear? You may hear that. Our our, our expedition into PvP. Uh, also, remember uh, we also have two more uh, co giveaways. So if you're not going to get the pet tonight, you still and you might get a chance to get uh, the white uh, the Red Baron and the White Devil. I remember the name now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Red Baron or White Devil mount. Uh, remember our it's the YouTube. Uh, go to our YouTube uh, channel. Uh, sub, sub, uh, subscribe there. 100 uh, subs gets you a uh, your choice of the Red Devil. I'm sorry, the Red Baron or the White Devil uh, Magitech mount. And also the write in. So just uh, a paragraph or two, one to two paragraphs explain Yoshi P shirt from Fan JP Fan Fest. Is it the uh, Blue Mage? You know what? We can't do it. Uh, what, you, what day did you say that was? The 20th? We had to do the week before. We can't do the 20th. We had to do the 20th, episode 24. And you want to know why? Because the 20th is an important date. EU Fan Fest happens the weekend before that, so people know the answer. So it has We to, should definitely yeah, do it before that. It's got to be the week before Fan Fest. So definitely, all right, so the, that Monday before Fan Fest, the week, like the week that Fan Fest is going to have that Monday, which is the... 13th? 13th of February... Uh, well, if you send us your letter in at show at maelstromradio.com, uh, just to give us a little quick horn down. Do you believe it's Samurai? Do you believe it's Blue Mage? If you can make a... Shin added this in. If you can make a solid argument that it's photographer somehow, we'll let it in. I don't know how you're going to do that, but got to be. And bonus points from me. Yeah, you get bonus points from Shin. Those, that may weigh heavy on you getting a mount. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I think that is enough of us killing time. I think we're going to get everybody that's entered entered. If you followed us, thank you. Uh, that's not a big ask from us for a free pet. Uh, we do this every Monday. You never know when we're going to give something away. Uh, we're, you know, 20 episodes deep. Like I said, we're, we're almost, we're getting to that fit. We're rolling up to 50 real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and draw. Survey says, well, Priestly Aphotica, you've now won your choice of minion off the Mog Station. Uh, let's go do one of these. Congratulations. Thanks, Nubar. So uh, I'm going to send you, uh, I'll send you a message. Uh, just let me know which one you want, and then I'll send you a code. Uh, and you win. Congratulations. Uh, Shin, uh, considering we have nothing left 
uh, for today. I'm going to change this back to our normal scene here. Uh, I mean, it's almost that time, buddy. I think it's about that time. It's a little bit later than normal, but uh, we, had a lot. we had a massive patch note. We did. So, you know, it's time to say goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us at Maelstrom Radio Live here on Twitch.tv forward slash Maelstrom Radio. First Shinter, I'm Flattis. Go follow us, like us on iTunes, leave us reviews and all that fun stuff. Stitcher, Google Play, we need you to share us so we're found. And until next time, keep listening. Maelstrom Radio is a production of maelstromradio.com, Blackfire Media Productions. Final Fantasy XIV and Eorzea are trademarks of Square Enix. Opening theme provided by Benjamin Anthony James. You can find more of their music over at soundcloud.com forward slash ben773. Our outro is provided by Soto. You can find more of their music over at soundcloud.com forward slash Soto. Views and opinions expressed on this episode are of those of Males from Radio and their hosts, and do not reflect the views and opinions of Square Enix. And until C swallows all, keep listening.